welcome today we're gonna do a neon light up mushroom see these little holes inside of the mushroom lid well we're gonna start with those well they're not holes but little circles and I'm gonna use the Jade Diction resin UV resin and I'm gonna make uh, little spots. I'm gonna use Funk by TLP and Inferno by TLP. I'm gonna mix me up some J Diction UV resin and it's high viscosity and I'm gonna speed up a lot of this um, but I'll slow it back down to show you the process of what I'm gonna do inside the lid here uh, make sure you mix your mica powders really well also make sure you wear a respirator because those little uh, particles can get in your lung and you don't want that to happen so always wear a respirator and actually I should have gloves on use all your safety protocols and I mix all these up and then I start with the funk and I start putting little dots in there really did take quite a while to accomplish putting all these little dots in there and then you have to stop and cure them and then put some more dots and stop and cure and the curing part takes a little bit <laughs> but lots of fun I absolutely love how this mushroom came out and so this is what I'm doing and I'm not going to show you the whole process because you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just putting the little dots in and curing them. And after I get all the little dots in like I have here, then I start with the Inferno and I just start putting it all around those purple dots filling in those circles and you could only go a little ways and then you would have to um, cure it so it was time-consuming but it was like I said it was well worth the time that it took as you'll see here I'll stop and I'll go ahead and cure this and then finish the rest of that circle and so like I said I'm not gonna put you through watching me put these circles in filling these circles in on every single one I'll bring you back when it's done and it's done so I mixed up 10 ounces of resin I poured four and the little cup you see over there next to the lid and then I separated out the other into these and I'm going to use purple um, ink alcohol ink and I put about five drops in it stirred it up and then I decided I wanted a couple more drops in there. I did want you to be able to see the light through it, so I didn't want it dark, dark. But, um... <clears throat> I tested it to see if it was good enough for me. Set it aside, hoping some of those bubbles would come out. And mixed up my Inferno and my Funk.
switch up between the Inferno and the Funk and pour half of my cup of my Inferno and then half of the Funk and then half of the Inferno and half of the Funk. <laughs> And I needed every bit that I mixed up, too. <laughs> um, I have made mushrooms with the Inferno and the Funk before. And they blend so well together. They really turn out cool. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm mixing them again. And after I get these... Uh, Build up here. Then we're gonna so uh, clean up my mess. And then uh, oh, I forgot I had that air bubble. I had to get that air bubble out. So I got that air bubble out and those little bubbles. Cleaned up my mess. <coughs> covered them and let them cure so now we're back and I sped this up also because I did squirt a little bit of alcohol in there to help maneuver it around because I didn't think you wanted to see me struggle like I did <laughs> uh, not really it wasn't that bad <laughs> But I actually answered the phone during this, uh, trying to get this one out. I stopped and answered the phone and came back to it. And, uh, and then there it is. I love it. Turned out so cute. And I'm going to show you with the lights out and the I'm going to put the little light in there and I'm going to turn the lights out so you can see it with the lights out I gotta come down I'm going to turn the overhead light out Eventually here, I'm going to turn the overhead light out <laughs> and show you what it looks like in the dark. There we go. It's so cute. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And it turned out so cute. And that little light gives different colors. So when the different colors go in there, changes it. And it also glows under a black light. I'll show you that. There it is under the black light. Super cool. Really love this one. So, yeah. Uh, pretty neat great gift idea super cool idea for a gift for like me if you got a bunch of grandkids you know there's nothing like uh, <laughs> having gift ideas for grandkids or any little people in your life nieces nephews whatever your own children it's a great little gift and let me know are you gonna try to make one for someone a gift or for your, somebody you know uh, let me know if you try it out it's super fun thanks to all my subscribers thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>